Ronan McMahon, yeah? That's right, yeah. Oh, hiya, how are you? Look, thanks for taking my call, Ronan. Um, I, look, at, I, I just noticed some of your posters up in um, the Terra Newer Temple Oak area, and yeah. I just wondered if you wouldn't mind answering a question for me, please. Uh, I, uh, Robbie is my name, and the reason I'm, I want to ask you the question, I'm a little undecided as to who I'm going to put my vote with um, yeah. uh, this time around. But look, at, I, I noticed from your poster, your independent fine gale. Yeah. Um, is, 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 which area? Is it independent or fine gale? Because I'm a little confused. Yeah, I can't call it confusion. I was involved in fine gale all my life, so um, now I'm running as an independent. Um, the reason I have fine gale on it was because uh, McMahon would have been synonymous with fine gale over the years in this area. Because my father was a councillor and he was a DD for, for years. Yeah. Fine gale councillor for years, and so I've been a member all my life. Uh, not anymore because I'm running against them this time as and an independent. And I didn't want to hide my past because people say, oh, you're, I'd like to be upfront and transparent. I wasn't Fine Gael, that's why Fine Gael is on it. Yeah, it's, a, it's just, a, I, I, I think, Ronan, for the voter, because uh, I certainly, I was stopped at the traffic lights there this morning, and uh, I mean, for the voter, I understand that you're, you're ex Fine Gael, but it's very yeah. confusing for the, for the uh, voter because, like, yeah. you're independent Fine Gael, I mean, the, uh, the message you're sending out is that, uh, I mean, first of all, that's a direct uh, contradiction. You're either independent or you're Fine Gael. So yeah. I was certainly a bit confused. Um, yeah. But, uh, um, you know, it's kind of, I, I would have, you know, thought that if you're independent, yeah. you would have got rid of the fine gale off your poster. Yeah, well, maybe I should have, and, and I was talking to the world to order people to during the week with regard to that, and perhaps in, in hindsight, yes, I, sh I should have been more, uh, just been, just done it, and, and not have been up front, but because of me being up front, I'm thinking of someone getting into more trouble, and, you know, about the, the fine gale part of it. Well, I, 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 I put a leaflet around the constituency, beside Nutgrove Shopping Centre. Oh, yeah. Would you would you consider uh, uh, getting rid of the fine gale off your poster? That would be too expensive now. They're all printed. Yeah, I suppose. You didn't think of yeah. that before you got the poster done, no? No, because the post would have been done uh, months ago or decided on Well, I suppose at least you're being honest about it, Ronan. Yeah. I've, I've yeah. one other question for you if, you, if you wouldn't mind answering it, Ronan, and this is a genuine question because this will decide who, who I vote for. Um, yeah. Could you tell I'm, me... I'm, I'm, could you could you tell me please how how austerity affects you? Uh, hugely. Yeah, hugely. I, in what way? I am scrimping and scrounging, scrounging for the last four years or five years. I have my own business in Tala. We had we had twelve people employed. Now we have three or four people employed. Um, and I'd love to show you my P60 for last year. I I'd, guarantee I'd, you. I'd, I'd I love guarantee to whatever. Ronan, I'd love to show you mine. It's it makes for it makes for miserable reading. Trust me when I tell you because of the uh, cuts that Fine Gael have put on the country. Yeah, uh, I know, you know. And that's what I that's what I was. Uh, I guarantee you, 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 your P6 is showing up more than mine. I, I doubt it. I doubt it somehow. <laughs> so, in what other ways is austerity affecting you? Uh, anyway, I've come, we have to come back on everything. We've uh, we uh, literally everything just because we've five children here. Um, so we find it hard enough to, to eat once to make ends meet. And tell me this, um, tell me this, what made you break away from Fine Gale? Was it their, their austerity cuts that made you break away from them? That was one part of it, I thought, um, I, when they introduced the, the property tax, I know that was probably a legacy from Fianna Fáil, but when they introduced that, I was outspoken spoken against. First of all, I thought it was the wrong time, I thought we should have been trying to stimulate the economy rather than drive us further into, rece into recession. Yeah. That'll be a big bugbear of mine. Um, I, I think the, the, the people in South Dublin are paying too much property tax because of our house prices. I, whatever house you're living in, uh, they're near Nut Grove, Shopping Centre, North Farnham. If you get the same house down the country, your your property tax will be quarter or a third of what you're paying because of the value. And, and that money should have been, it, it was promised that it would be spent 80% of what we spent in the area that was collected in. Yeah. But it's, not, it's going into central coffers and then they're just distributed around the country. It's just like another tax. So I think it's a. Uh, I, 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 
Tammy, Ronan, would you would you go as far as to say you you're, you've almost turned anti uh, Andy Kenny or anti F Fine Gael? Um, well, uh, yeah, look, I, I wouldn't be a fan of Andy Kenny at the moment. The last number of years, I have been they have disappointed us. Um, I thought to be a much fresher approach within the new government there when they were elected three years ago. Um, and I find a lot of us, and even on the inside, they've stopped listening to the people. They've got very young democratic. Uh, they won't even listen to their members. So what That's chance correct, yeah. Would you, would you have a, you know, Bernardo's uh, charity yesterday made a comment um, about uh, um, the homeless situation in Dublin, saying it's the worst crisis uh, Ireland has ever faced in regards to homelessness, and uh, Fine Gael have chosen to stay quiet, and, and, and uh, I mean, he's, Andy Kenny's got to be the only leader of any party in any country in the world on a crisis, on, on a scale such as that, that has uh, chosen to stay silent. I mean, he's the leader of the country. It's his job to come out and, and discuss things like this. But he, would, would you agree that silence uh, kind of uh, shows a, an admission of guilt there that he really doesn't care about the people of Ireland? I, would, uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's an admission of guilt, but I, would, I think it's dreadful the way they, they, um, he has been. He's, that, no, he's more interested in getting on the cover of Time magazine Correct. Than, he is about the, uh, than he is about the ordinary people here in this country. I, Fine Gael are not even canvassing this election. Uh, we've been knocking on doors, and I can see why they're not. They're afraid. They should, but they should be, because that's how they get to know what's going on in the country. Yeah. They're not knocking on doors and talking to the people. How the hell do they know? You, can, you, or, you have your cronies around you, and they be telling you, but they be just telling you what you want to hear. Yeah. And that's what I found within Fine Gael. They wanted to hear what they wanted to hear. I was at Fine Gael meetings, and, uh, and I was a lone voice speaking out about certain things that the government were doing, and there was ministers and TDs and uh, They're all about the money, really, aren't they? Well, not about the money, but they're all about the power, all right. Well, the, yeah, well, I mean, with mo with power comes money, but they're definitely all about the money and the power because they, yeah, they have... That the sham that the, the way they, they, they said they, they'd reformed the Oireachtas, and what's he, he put the referendum last year about the sham, and what's uh, what a whitewash? Yeah. Like, uh, if you're the kind of, you do it or you don't do it. They do it right now, you do it all right. Roland, I have one last question for you before I make up my mind. What's your what's your opinion on the water meters? You're um unfortunately I don't want to talk to you, Robbie, but I don't think you can vote for me anyway, but I have no problem answering your question to ask because it's open up my my area just go up as far as I just go up as far as the farm shopping centre there. Okay. Um but uh, I, I think uh, meeting water is uh, an excellent idea. The charging for it, I think you we should all give it an allowance based on how many people live in the household and whether they're, uh, and you're allowed to use that amount of water. Do you not think, Ronan, that the people of Ireland are already stretched enough with the uh, no. the, the property tax, finish, the distax? Can I finish, Yeah. And whatever the standard rate, say it's 200 quid per year for water charges, and you're allowed to use a certain amount of, I don't know what litres you... you so I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what uh, what you're allowed to use. You're allowed to flush your t for that for t for the, for what they're suggesting. You're allowed to flush your toilet twice a day. I mean, in my house, the toilet gets flushed five times before nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know, and, and, and mine a lot more. Yeah, so I'd... we've we've seven but, uh, but whatever the standard rate, whatever the standard charge for for, for water rates, once you pay that, that should be taken off your property tax. Yeah, now, but I don't. Agree. But I, if it's two flushes a day, I think that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, two flushes a day. Pain. Do you, I mean, yeah. you're saying you're already affected by the austerity measures. Can you afford to pay a water bill? Because I know I can't. No, well, I'd be fighting for it um, to, to, to um, that, that should be taken off your property tax. So it's people who are leaving the hoses on and are walking their gardens all night long and waste the water. They should be the ones that are paying extra for the water. Tax. But the standard should be just taking off your property tax. If, if the water is metered, if it comes out, like in 10 years' time or 15 years' time, we're going to have a major problem here that water doesn't make gold. We'll be exporting water if, if we're... If but we're, sure, they're, charging us for, they're charging us for dirty water. Yeah, I know. The, I mean, the water where I am, I, I don't drink water from the tap because um, I, I only buy bottled water. I wouldn't drink the water. I just yeah. feel there's a taste off it, there's a smell off it. Yeah. If you hold a glass of water up... I know, and even, and even up the floor, I, I, I'm from Bovenabrina originally. 
So your father, your father is a, is a fine gale politician and he wouldn't touch the water? So just to come back in the, in the, the, yes, whether it was, no matter what water or who was in government, yes, so he would prefer to drink the own fresh water, but there was nothing added to it. And uh, he died in a couple of it, seven years, six, seven years, he was 79, and he had one false tooth in his head. From, from, the, from the water? From the fresh water that he was drinking from the well, not one false one. Listen, I won't take up any more of your time. Thanks for taking the call. Andy Kenny recently put his uh, number forward and said he'll talk to any 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 person that wants to make a phone call to him. Yet he never yeah. answers his phone. He won't talk to no. people. No. Um, no. He, I think you'd probably agree he's a coward, would you? I would totally. He's afraid of the people. He's afraid of the people. He, he, afraid of it because um, and there should be more communication. I thought it was because this was going to be a fresh government and I must say I'm you know, disappointed in the way even though I was treated over the years and, and this and that, like, it's just not right. Unfortunately you're not living in my area. I don't I don't feel where because they might uh, they might consider voting for me. Fine Gaines don't want me to be elected. They are doing their utmost within Temple of Turner which covers the referral and not lying for it. They they if I get elected that will send such a message. But, but, but why, why did you put Fine Gale on the poster? Well, maybe not in hindsight it would have said that, but I wanted to be up front. If I didn't, they seemed to say, oh, you're just hiding away from Fine Gale. I wanted people to know that I was on Fine Gale, but not anymore. It, no, I, 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 hate to, I, I hate to break it to you, Ronan, but uh, I mean, it could be your undoing putting Fine yeah, Gale, fine gale yeah. on, on your poster because people people have lost faith in them and uh, yeah. I've seen them yeah. for the liars and the cheats that they are. They've ruined this country and for, for, uh, for people with kids and stuff like that, I mean, they've sent thousands and thousands and thousands uh, oh, of people uh, into emigration. <laughs> Forced emigration and forced uh, suicides and, and whatnot. Everybody knows someone that's been affected by suicide. Yeah, uh, I, know, I, I sure. definitely. I, I uh, met her on my canvas. Her, yeah. uh, nearly in tears one day. I got such a shock from some lady, and her, her husband had committed suicide in the early 50s. Yeah. And he didn't have a major problem, but he just couldn't handle it because of the, the recession and because of the way things were. But uh, I would not get it now. I, Robbie, be too harsh. I think that's the way they've been handled and they've pushed this forward into it. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, uh, Ronan. I'll leave you on this note, okay? Here's something to remember. Fine, uh, Fianna, Fáil, Fianna Fáil robbed the country blind. F F Fianna Gael and Labour were the getaway drivers. Would you agree with that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I, if you know anybody in the temple, Junior, ask to it, 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 it send a, a friend of these, send a message to the government. Okay. To, okay, Ronan. Thanks, thanks very much. Enjoy talking to you, Ronan. Thanks very much. Bye bye. I enjoy talking to you too. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.